This is ITV News with Kylie Pentelow. Good evening. He didn't mention him by name, but Gordon Brown couldn't have been much clearer about what he believes a Jeremy Corbyn leadership would mean. He warned Labour not to become a party of protest and said there was nothing worse than seeing injustice and not being able to correct it. His intervention came just hours before voting gets underway. Our political correspondent Libby Vina on the former Prime Minister's warning from history. He may not have been Labour's most successful Prime Minister, but you could see today why Gordon Brown rose to the very top. His warning about the dangers of electing the wrong leader now likely to be heard. His speech began with a joke. Leaders come and leaders go, and I know that. Politi politicians are here today uh, and they're gone tomorrow. But the values endure. But he was soon talking about the grief of losing two elections now, and what was at stake for the Labour Party. Our hearts are broken. But you know, there is one thing worse than having broken hearts. It is powerlessness. To see a wrong and not to be able to right it, to see an injury and an injustice and not be able to correct it, to see suffering and be able to do nothing about it, and when I see the opinion polls that say that the one grouping in the party that is likely to get most votes is the one grouping that even its own supporters say is least likely to be able to form a government, then we have to look at the lessons of our history. Gordon Brown didn't mention Jeremy Corbyn by name, but everything he said suggested that he believed the vote for the left-wing MP and serial rebel would be a vote for political oblivion. It's this woman whom Gordon Brown is said to back. Today, she insisted the race was still wide open. Ballots are almost just arriving, and that's why I think it's really important that people are thinking about everyone across the country who depends on a Labour government, who depends on the things we need to do to change the world, not just be angry at the world. Gordon, is your message, don't vote for Jeremy Corbyn? He wouldn't say explicitly, but few listening to him today could doubt that that's exactly what he meant. So, Libby, will his speech make any difference? Well, I think it will make a difference. Last week, when Tony Blair intervened, I think many people thought that was counterproductive, perhaps, because he is still such a hate figure on the left of the Labour Party. But Gordon Brown is respected on the left of the Labour Party still. He spoke with great passion today, warning that the party couldn't simply become a party of protest. Now, there are many people who have joined the party in recent weeks, and I think effectively he was laying down the gauntlet to them, saying, did they want to get the party back into power or not? OK, Libby, thank you very much.